It's been a tumultuous time for New Glenn, Blue Origin's most ambitious venture yet. Despite high hopes, the monumental rocket has yet to reach flight, let alone participate in any testing. What are the underlying causes of the delays? When can we expect a launch to happen? While SpaceX's rockets continue to set records and achieve incredible feats, New Glenn has remained silent, with its future shrouded in uncertainty and, understandably, gathering dust. Let's explore the situation more thoroughly and explain the factors contributing to Blue Origin's challenges in today's episode of NR Stereo. As we approach the end of 2024, the culmination of years of diligent preparation finally manifested itself in a significant advance this past October. The BE-4 engine, the rocket's cornerstone, was officially integrated, and in early November, New Glenn's second stage reached its maiden milestone. In the days that followed, the payload fairing was meticulously assembled, and on November 21st, New Glenn proudly positioned itself on launch pad LC-36, marking a significant milestone in preparation for its integrated hot fire test. This milestone seemed to mark a watershed moment. However, progress quickly stalled, raising skepticism about New Glenn's readiness. After being deployed to the launch pad, the rocket did not undergo any live testing. Instead, it was returned to its original position on November 26th, only to be reset again the same day. On December 1st, New Glenn went into another descent, showing no indication of activity or significant testing during this time. Over a span of more than 10 days, the lack of significant updates has raised confusion and concern among industry observers about the rocket's future prospects. The observed delays and inconsistent trajectories point to potential underlying complications either related to the rocket itself or its associated launch support systems. If the problem was vehicle-related, it could stem from hardware inconsistencies in the B4 engine or complications in the fueling system. Alternatively, it is plausible that the launch infrastructure was the culprit, possibly stemming from issues related to fuel management, interconnections between the rocket and ground systems, or deficiencies in safety protocols. With no official word from Blue Origin, Speculation has been rife. However, each possibility highlights shortcomings in readiness that are damaging to the company's reputation. The circumstances have heightened doubts regarding Blue Origin's capacity to contend in the contemporary space race. Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has seized the opportunity to underscore the existing disparity. On November 21st, coinciding with the rollout of New Glenn to the launch pad, Musk took to Twitter to post, how Time Flies, accompanied by a vintage photograph of himself and Jeff Bezos from a meeting held two decades prior. Musk's caption alluded to counsel he had previously offered to Bezos, which he asserted had gone unheeded. Critiques regarding Blue Origin's work ethic are far from novel. In 2018, Jason Davis, a former executive at Blue Origin, observed that Blue exhibited a level of lethargy in comparison to SpaceX. Currently, that sentiment is amplified as SpaceX persists in reaching remarkable milestones. In the most recent quarter, SpaceX effectively executed two Starship missions, highlighting its supremacy, while New Glenn remains in a state of inactivity. The postponements associated with New Glenn are especially concerning due to the significant implications at stake. Numerous high-stakes endeavors hinge on its success and any additional setbacks could yield significant repercussions. For instance, Blue Origin is scheduled to launch Escapade, NASA's Mars spacecraft, alongside the company's proprietary Blue Ring mission. Initially slated for 2024, both projects have been postponed, with Escapade now rescheduled for early 2025. The urgency inherent in the Escapade mission, dictated by the constrained launch window to Mars that occurs every 26 months, renders these delays exceptionally significant. Moreover, Blue Origin is under increasing scrutiny from the FAA. As reported by journalist Christian Devonport, New Glenn has not yet obtained an FAA launch license, a process that necessitates thorough testing and substantial preparation time. Given the FAA's stringent stance as demonstrated by their management of SpaceX's Starship, it appears improbable that New Glenn will achieve certification in the near future. Notwithstanding Blue Origin's potential swift completion of requisite testing, the timeline for obtaining licensing and arranging a launch may very well extend into mid-2025. 
The ramifications of these delays extend far beyond the inaugural mission of New Glenn. Blue Origin secured contracts for pivotal undertakings, notably including Amazon's Kuiper Satellite Program and the U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Phase 3 initiative. Both programs entail significant risks. For example, the Kuiper Satellite missions play a pivotal role in Amazon's strategy to rival SpaceX's Starlink. Thus, any delays would adversely impact both Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon as well. In a comparable vein, the NSSL program encompasses government and military launches, wherein the utmost importance is placed on reliability and adherence to timelines. Protracted delays may jeopardize Blue Origin's credibility with its governmental partners. The most critical challenge, nonetheless, resides in New Glenn's involvement in NASA's Artemis initiative. In conjunction with Artemis of Five, New Glenn is anticipated to undertake a crewed lunar mission subsequent to SpaceX's planned missions in 2026 and 2028. As international contenders such as China intensify their lunar aspirations, the prospect of failure is simply unacceptable. However, at its present rate, Blue Origin risks exacerbating its lag, thereby imperiling its participation in these pivotal missions. As we look to the future, Blue Origin must not only successfully execute the inaugural flight of New Glenn, but also establish its reliability and scalability to meet the ambitious objectives it has undertaken. This encompasses missions associated with the Artemis program, Kuiper satellites, and the NSSL initiative, all of which necessitate a steady rhythm of launches. A failure to fulfill commitments could result in Blue Origin being overshadowed by more dependable alternatives, such as SpaceX or ULA. For Blue Origin, 2024 was anticipated to be a pivotal year characterized by numerous New Glenn launches. Conversely, the year concludes amidst growing skepticism regarding the rocket's potential to achieve liftoff. Should Blue Origin fail to address its challenges promptly, it jeopardizes the integrity of its reputation and the sustainability of its partnerships. The pivotal inquiry persists. Will New Glenn take to the skies at long last, or will it remain stagnant while SpaceX fortifies its supremacy? We welcome your insights in the comments section below. Do you believe Blue Origin has the potential to pivot its trajectory, or has the window for opportunity closed? Remember to like and subscribe for ongoing insights into the dynamic landscape of the space race. It is, without a doubt, that New Glenn is once again subject to comparisons with SpaceX's Starship. Recently, New Glenn appeared to be making significant progress, particularly as the FAA's delays concerning Starship seem to equalize competitive opportunities. There are conjectures suggesting that New Glenn may potentially achieve launch status ahead of Starship thereby presenting a significant challenge to SpaceX. More than a month ago, I inquired about which endeavor would embark first, the inaugural flight of New Glenn or Flight 5 of Starship. As Starship continued its trajectory, the discourse evolved to compare New Glenn with Flight 6. It appears that I may have overestimated the advancements of Blue Origin. Notwithstanding the propitious circumstances, Blue Origin's evident shortcomings in advancing its initiatives have resulted in New Glenn remaining earthbound. While Starship ascends unimpeded, SpaceX has recently revealed that the launch of Starship Flight 7 is slated for January 11th, the onset of the year 2025. Musk hinted at the possibility of pursuing a mid-air ship catch as early as Flight 8. Is it possible for New Glenn to commence its launch prior to achieving those milestones? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section below. As the New Glenn project experiences stagnation, the development of Starship is advancing at an accelerated rate. The swift transition between Flight 5 and Flight 6 exemplifies SpaceX's remarkable operational efficiency. In light of the FAA's reported contemplation of authorizing up to 25 Starship launches in the upcoming year, 2024 has the potential to be a particularly transformative period for SpaceX. The FAA may implement reforms to enhance the efficiency of its licensing processes, thereby diminishing obstacles for Starship. Should these reforms be implemented, it is probable that SpaceX will expand its lead, thereby placing Blue Origin at an even greater disadvantage. Nonetheless, Blue Origin's challenges encompass more than just the inaugural launch of New Glenn. The organization encounters a plethora of significant challenges across various initiatives. NASA has entrusted both Blue Origin and SpaceX 
with the responsibility of creating cargo variants of their respective lunar landers. To facilitate the deployment of pressurized rovers and habitats to the lunar surface in the early 2030s. For SpaceX, this entails a necessary adaptation of Starship. For Blue Origin, this signifies the advancement of its Blue Moon lander. NASA has delineated distinct missions for each respective company. Lisa Watson Morgan, the program manager for the Human Landing System at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, indicated that, in light of the ongoing design and development advancements for both crew and cargo landers, as well as the scheduling of the Artemis mission for crewed landers, NASA has allocated a pressurized rover mission to SpaceX and a lunar habitat deployment to Blue Origin. Nevertheless, Blue Origin's ambitions encounter a formidable impediment. New Glenn has not yet achieved orbital insertion. In the absence of a validated vehicle, the realization of these ambitious objectives remains precarious. In addition to the Lunar Lander program, Blue Origin is engaged in several other pivotal initiatives. For example, the company is one of the launch providers for Amazon's Kuiper Satellite Constellation. While this contract may seem like a surefire win given Amazon's relationship with Jeff Bezos, recent developments in New Glenn's progress could result in significant delays for the Kuiper system. In a similar vein, Blue Origin was recently selected for Phase 3 of the U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program, a prestigious initiative that is critical to the operational capabilities of the U.S. government and military. Unlike commercial companies, delays in this context are intolerable, as ULA's ongoing struggles with mission delays have shown. Most importantly, New Glenn is scheduled to assist in Artemis V, a crewed lunar expedition, anticipated to occur after SpaceX's Artemis 3 and 4 missions in 2026 and 2028, respectively. As China prepares to launch its lunar mission during this period, Blue Origin cannot afford any setbacks. Nonetheless, the current state of affairs paints a rather bleak scenario. New Glenn has shown no concrete indication of its readiness to take on this important responsibility. If progress fails to accelerate, Blue Origin risks losing its position on these important projects a potential insult that could do lasting damage to its reputation. Furthermore, as I mentioned earlier, the phrase so close I can almost taste it can quickly turn into so far I can only dream of it. As for Blue Origin and its efforts on New Glenn, time will tell whether they will rise to the challenge or falter before the race even begins. Let's see how Blue Origin continues Sonics the Skeptics or whether they are able to win the game altogether. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's episode. See you next time.